I've had the, you know, the good fortune and the honor to, you know, to be one of your photographers, you know, multiple times. And I am always, and first of all, you are the only person who I've ever worked with who I can come and tell you some crazy idea. One of them being like, let's photograph a bunch of really famous women naked and unretouched <laughs> and discuss body image. And you were like, okay, go do it. There Nobody else would let me do that yeah. but you. And that but was a great story, I hope, so for you. It was so well received because we all feel um, very self-conscious. It doesn't matter if you're the most beautiful woman in the world. You've always got hang-ups. Yeah. And so how great is it to have beautiful photography of women showing their reality and, and really seeing just how beautiful those imperfections are. Because it's all about the things that aren't quite right, which are the most beautiful. Well, I think that because you have a different perspective that you allowed that story as well, because certainly there's a huge difference between America and England. And I think there's another great, there's a quote that you, a great quote where you said something about, um, about hair, right? <laughs> what, was your, what was that quote again? Do you remember it? it? Was, um, someone asked me when I first came to America what the difference was between Britain and America in terms of women's attitudes. And I pointed out on many women's magazines in Britain, how you sell the magazine is through sex, whereas here in America, it tends to be hair. Which I think is true to, to many, you know, if I look, at, if I look at, at a lot of the media. So, so I want to talk about the perception of, you know, you, because you have more of an English perception, you can sit here and say, yes, the imperfection is in the beauty, but most American magazines do not want to see the imperfection. They want to create beautiful, perfect, flawless women which I personally am very challenged with because that's just not real. Nobody's seeing themselves in fashion magazines and they're feeling, it's just adding to the general insecurity that women feel about themselves and their bodies. And I love that you open the door and you walk that fine line between creating beautiful fashion images and then images that are way more relatable. I think it's so important to promote a healthy image of women. We all can't be supermodels. Um, I still think sometimes, you know, I, I, in my head, I'm Catherine Hepburn, but the reality is I do not look like her. It's, it's all in my mind. And I, I think the idea of, of making women feel good about themselves, reminding them that fashion and beauty is supposed to be fun, mm. is, is one of the joys of my position.